Welcome to the tutorial for all late nighters like me. Girls and guys both can benefit from the skin prep shown in this video. This is my go to makeup for festivals. You know, when you have these grand plans of doing a cut crease, elaborate glitters, <laughs> intricate duochromes. But soon reality hits and now you're running late. So you end up doing an easy look. This glossy cheek and a glossy eye with a bright lip is my go-to for the festivals. Sidebar, uh, these days I'm loving a knit. Like there's something about a woolen knit with glossy cheek. There's something about this combination in winter that just looks so good. Okay, sidebar over. <laughs> In the end, I'm going to leave you guys with three lip options, a creamy nude, a deep bright pink that suits even the duskiest of Indian skin tones, and of course, a velvet true red, and the red one is my favorite. <laughs> guys, get ready for some epic skin prep, very useful for male skin too. Shall we start? For the skin prep, first we chemical exfoliate using the dry cleanse technique applying this like a mask and leaving it on for two minutes exfoliation is being done by the salicylic acid and lactic acid present in this face wash after two minutes once it's dry wash it off like so this is called dry cleanse method if you want a detailed video on dry cleanse technique, let me know in the comments below. Here is the under eye prep I promised for all my late night Netflix people. Applying sweet almond oil under eyes, not regular almond oil. I made that mistake of confusing between the two. Vitamin E and A are really good for dark circles. Apply the same a little bit on the lip for lip prep. This is a primer oil. It holds makeup well. It's really good for dry skin in winters. It's abundant in castor oil along with a blend of other oils. Because we exfoliated the skin, right? Castor oil creates a good skin barrier. We need like an emollient between the skin and the tools now because we've exposed the underneath baby skin layer. One unique quality to castor oil is that it maintains some body heat, which my cold and dry skin loves in this winter. While our canvas is under construction, we are going to be productive and cut some potatoes. <laughs> you heard it right. The slice has to be thin on one side and thick on the other. The thinner side will stick to the skin once we pat it. The thinner side is going to stick close to the eye and the thicker one is going to be the outer side. We are going to need four pieces like this in total. Very important to get the inner corner skin, guys. Pat and press under the eye like so. The thinner side is sitting close to the eye, like you can see. And that's why this is comfortable and sticks to the skin. The starch is going to brighten the area and bleach it, while 80% water in the potato will moisturize this very fine under eye skin. <laughs> Let's do the brows in this time. Taking this powder, uh, just applying it wherever need be and going in with a pencil for final finishing touches and the brows are done. Using soap to set it in place all day long and for the ultra fluffy textured eyebrow look. 
using two primers for the ultimate poreless smoothest base. The first one is a smoothening and a moisturizing primer. Gonna just apply it like lotion, don't forget the neck. And the second one is a thick pore filling smoothening cream. Gonna apply it wherever I have uh, uneven texture, open pores. And our base is ready. <laughs> For the corrector, if you don't have an orange corrector, don't worry, we can make our own. Uh, we are going to take like an orange lip liner or an orange lipstick. Apply it like so, mix it with some concealer, apply it wherever you feel you have darkness and blend it with your fingers. For me, that's around the mouth, underneath the eyes. Applying a yellow undertone concealer to cover the orange. Very lightly going in sheer layers on all the areas where we have applied that orange corrector. This is a full, full coverage concealer. Notice the shades I'm using. The earlier con concealer was a very deep yellow shade. This is a very light lemon yellow shade. This is going to be a covering at the same time a brightening concealer. Going to apply it underneath the eyes. Going to prime my eyelids with this. This is my first attempt at ASMR voiceover style guys. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of narration tone. And if you like this new macro cinematography that I'm trying out. This is one of those Malvika Sitlani made me buy foundations. Uh, I'll do a full review on it later. You can see the consistency. It's fluidy but not very runny. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this all over my face and on the neck. Whenever I'm using a stripling brush, I like to go in this um, downward motion more than absolute circular motion. You know, I just want to like lay all the hair flat. This is the lucky last step for under eyes. Uh, you can use like a brightening concealer like this. It's very fine. It's very liquidy. Applied like so and... Dip your sponge in powder. It looks uneven, so we're just going to pat and press on the palm. Spread it evenly on the sponge like so. Squeeze the sponge and just touch the areas of your under eye where you have applied the three, four layers. Set your upper eyelid. We don't want any creases. This brush, oh my god, this is such a beautiful material it's pony hair or weasel hair i guess the way it produces pigment is so beautiful it produces it true to pan gives it this sheen and this champagne shade is my love <laughs> it's actually this brush that just enables me to do the eyeshadow in two swipes like that and it's done using a baked compact powder because baked compact powder give a more creamy finish to the skin than matte powders. When you want to do like a glossy cheek, I find a creamy finish to the skin gives a softer transition. Just pat and press. This powder is really good in like not settling in into the fine lines of my foreheads. Take the same product down the neck. So important. Oh my god. The original stroke cream before all the highlighting trend came into place. This stroke cream has been around since eons. And I have seen it in every makeup artist collection. Gonna just blend the edges. Soften the edges. 
this highlighter is again a baked formula. Baked formulas are more creamy and smoother in texture. If you guys have textured skin and you try to highlight, you know the struggle. This is the product that does not amplify the texture of my cheeks. So blinding, so beautiful. This is a new contour I bought. It's not very pigmented, but it creates the most natural looking shadows ever. Like this is one of those products that looks better in person than what it looks in the camera because it is so subtle. It's like this ashy, browny kind of a shade. It's not very pigmented. So if you're darker than me, it may not show up on you. A cream blush, of course, for creamy cheeks. I've almost run out of this color. It's a beautiful pink color. Let's curl the lashes, apply some mascara and move on to the lips. I promised you three lip looks, right? This is the first one, a brown lip liner with a cream nude lip color. It's very important to me to apply a lip liner because that way when the nude fades, it fades evenly and it suits better. This is the second lip option. It's a deep sultry pink. <laughs> the shade is also called a sultry pink. It's very important for me to tie my hair up when I'm doing like these creamy skin and lipstick or gloss on the lip. This is the third and my favorite lip option. I have something to show you guys. Notice how the lip was looking red with the lip liner. And once I put this on, just see what happens. You see the lip is starting to look like a shade of pink, the area where we've not put this liquid lipstick. That is how red this liquid lipstick is. It makes other reds look some shade of pink. <laughs> oh my God, this is so beautiful. It's got rose wax in it. It makes your lips soft and smooth. If you can get it, get it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Tell me in the comments below, what did you think of this? Which was your favorite lip? Tag me on Instagram if you recreate any of these looks. And most important of all, you do you. Bye-bye. <laughs>